Hola. Hello, Chocolate Josh. To, uh, excuse me. Uh, I'm just sitting here. And today we are doing. What are we doing, Josh? Uh, we're doing a video on all the upcoming games, or no, all the ones we're interested in, from the span of 2014, like end of 2014, into the stuff we care about that comes out in 2015. So, uh, yeah, this is gonna work. I'm gonna give the dates and info all about the games, and Joseph's gonna kinda talk about them and what we think about them. Some of them we're really excited for, some of them we're not. Isn't that right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yep. So, uh, starting off with the closest date, it's uh, September. Or September 18th. Yeah, or, or, but, um, it's the uh, Assassin's Creed The American Saga, which is collecting Assassin's Creed 3, Liberation, and 4, uh, coming out October 23rd in the US, and it's coming out for Xbox 360 and PS3. Cool. Yeah. I mean, that, that one I'm not too insanely excited about. I guess it's good, but like it's I, the same I, thing. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna get it though probably because I I want to play three, and then I had four, but now I don't. But now I want four back, and then no one cares about liberation, so you know. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah. Yeah, oh, right, anyways, so and just Destiny. a oh, oh, thing to Destiny. Even though oh, Destiny already oh, yeah. came out, yeah. we were really excited about that game. We have not bought it yet, but yeah. I'm probably gonna buy it for Xbox One around next year. Okay, so next we're going to November 11th, which three games are coming out, first starting with the Master Chief Collection, exclusively on Xbox One. Mm -hmm. um, we've talked about this a little bit, actually we haven't, but, like, we haven't done, like, a really, a Master yeah, Chief video. Yeah, um, anyways, w like, we, we meant to do that, but we were, we've been a little behind on stuff, like, school and all, but we will be doing more stuff but, soon. Uh, we're, we're, we're looking forward to it, we're not, like... It sounds like it's going to be really cool and like a blast of the past, but it's not really anything new that we haven't already Except seen. Except for the baby. Yeah, that is what we're looking forward to. That's going to be awesome. And I mean, I think I think it'll be still be cool to yeah. uh, have it. I mean, theater mode and all. Yeah, that's so they're in Forge, Halo Two Forge. So uh, oh, yeah, yeah, that okay. Next, Assassin's Creed Unity, November eleventh, coming out for PC, PlayStation Four, and Xbox One. No, I'm an, I'm not gonna lie. I am insanely. I'm more excited about that than Halo. Same here. That's how. I am really really pumped for that. Um, I think the four person campaign multiplayer on next gen consoles is wonderful. I I mean, the storyline I'm not sure is gonna be one of their best, but I think they focused a lot on the multiplayer, and I'm not sure anyone's gonna be objecting to that. One thing I'm really uh, seeing, or curious to see would be how they're gonna, you know, how like Assassin's Creed, how they're gonna incorporate the modern day era parts into that, how that's gonna be. That could be pretty cool. Um, oh, yeah. actually, I, I, forgot, I forgot to mention a game. I'm leaving a game out. But, um, it is actually, uh, there's, there's a couple. There's September 30th, which isn't that far away. There's Forza Horizon 2 for 360 and Xbox One. Okay, now that, that looks great uh i mean i never i played forza horizon one never played the campaign though but it was a great game um, i loved it also in november 4th coming out for uh pc ps3 ps4 xbox one and xbox 360 is call of duty advanced warfare oh you suck Okay. Yeah, we really don't like Call of Duty. So. But it looks like they're kind of trying to drag, like, go into the zone of Destiny, Titanfall, and Halo, which it's not cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but it. I mean, I was really disappointed about it being the exact uh, Destiny being somewhat like Titanfall. Even though their E3 trailer was pretty awesome, like it, it was the graphics were really good. And it looked pretty. Yeah, cool. but even though it, it see it looks like it has the same like running and mechanics and stuff like how smooth it is like instead of halo where it's kind of like it's the same thing every step in titanfall it's kind of Titanfall kind of a cross yeah i think they incorporate different running animations which is nice but yeah and then the last game coming out on november 11th is assassin's creed rogue which i'm actually looking forward to a lot i think it'll be a nice change in story playing as a templar and uh it'll be uh adam yeah. will be in it from halo 4 or God, Assassin's Creed <laughs> 4, <laughs> and uh, so it, it looks like it'll be pretty cool. I'm uh, I'm I'm excited for it. I'm is... I'm really excited to see the future part of that game and how the Templars are in the future. 
Yeah. Oh yeah. And that's coming out for 360 and PS3. Next, and our last game. Thing. In oh, sorry, you Wait, does it not come out for Xbox One? Oh uh, no. It doesn't really. Yeah. Um. Next, we've got. Okay, you're gonna love this one. We've actually got. Um. This is on November 21st. This is a. Uh, or sorry. Yeah. This is November 21st. It's Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I know, I've never played a Pokemon game in my life. Well, anyways, Childhood it's, it's a... <laughs> it's a, uh... It's like a remake of Pokemon, whichever one had the Hoenn region in it, I don't... Anyways, it, uh, 3DS, I mean. About December 29th, 2015, Halo 5 Guardians Beta on the Xbox Run 1. <laughs> um... <laughs> Yeah, it uh, it looks like it's been pretty cool. They're gonna have, I, I think we talked about this, but it's, uh, no, no, this was in another video, but they're gonna have, I think, I actually don't remember, but I I know it's gonna be 4v4, and it looks like it's gonna be pretty cool, kind of returning to like old school Halo, but that could be a good or a bad thing depending on how you look at it. Yeah, if you're a fan of Halo 4, maybe not so much, but Halo 3 definitely. Halo 3 was awesome. Um, so. Now we've got... We're into 2015 now. Oh, God. Ah! Now, this is probably the one on this list we're looking forward to possibly the least. I... Uh, can you guess what it is, Joseph? Crackdown 3! No, no! Oh, God, no. Okay, wait, just... Hold on, we're getting there. It's, a uh, Saints Row Get Out of Hell, January oh 27th, 2015. This is coming out for... <sighs> PC... The PS3, PS4, Xbox 360, and Xbox One, and in addition to this, Saints Row 4 will be coming to Xbox One and PS4, I assume. <sighs> well, okay, we, we've got we, we've got a lot we'd like to say about this game. We Starting off from the beginning of the Saints Row series, one was great. It was like a gang war, but it could have been better. Two, they like pretty much nailed it on, but it's still like it was, I mean, it was I like guess gang they, war, and it's not. And then three, they completely got it. They much nailed it. It was. A wonderful game. One of the things they could have added in was a little bit more emphasis on like uh, some in like maybe a few more buildings you could go into. I mean, well, there and, are others besides like the ones like there's other. Yeah, I know, but like in maybe a little bit more like maybe like a mountain range kind or not yeah, mountain cool. range, but you know what I mean, like kind of GTA 5 sized map or just cause two something like that. I mean, that. That was 2011, like. GT5 came out two years later, but oh. it's still a really, really good game. It's a great game. Saints Row 4 was a disappointment. Yeah, Saints Row 4 came out and... Oh my god. It was like the retarded cousin of Saints Row 3. It really is. So, now we can see that the company they've learned, they, um, they decided to make the same thing, except cut the city size down in half, um, make it even more car cartoonish, and, uh, yeah, so... It's... Are you kidding? They cut the city in half? Yeah, pretty much. Um, oh, I, I also thought this was kind of funny. The creative director behind Saints Row got out of hell. It uh, He left to go to Valve. Yeah. Yeah, I see why. He get, he's going to get beat up. <laughs> like, he, whoever... I, I'm really pissed at whoever ruined the Saints Row series. Like, I mean, Saints Row 3... Saints Row 4 was pretty much a joke. You know, it went into, like, in, like, the boardroom. It's like, alright, we could either, like, make Saints Row 3 better, we could, like, add more gang stuff and make it completely awesome, or we could go the other amazing route and make it all about aliens and, like, some really messed up stuff. And then, you know, there's that one guy in the room that's like, yeah, let's go with the alien idea! And, yeah, he, he screwed it all up. Yeah, I feel like, um, it's kind of like Oscorp, and it's like, the owner died and he did great, and then the son comes in and injects himself with some blood, tries or to become Spider-Man, kills a girl... Or Apple. Wait, oh yeah. Wait, kind of. Okay. Wait, no, 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 no. <laughs> That's yes, real life. Steve, we can't Steve make Jobs, fun of. Steve Jobs didn't have a son that injected himself with Spider-Man blood. Yeah, Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Okay. Okay. So, anyway. so we're not looking forward to it at all. It's gonna be twenty bucks digital. We'll probably get it, or no, we might actually not get it. I don't know. But there's an eleven-minute gameplay on it from Pax Prime, and it's uh, it just not. I mean, there's a couple of, like funny things about it. The sloth chair. I thought that was a pretty creative idea. But Wait, the what? The sloth chair. They've got weapons based off the Seven Deadly Sins, and for sloth, they've got this thing called the sloth chair. It's a big chair that like Johnny Gats sits in, 
and like shoots rockets. I thought that's like pretty cool and creative kind of, but the storyline to it, as you'd expect, I mean, really as you can see the storyline got worse and worse each game, but Saints Row 3, like we said, it still pretty much nailed it on, and then Saints Row 4 they added in Aliens, which is a major screw up. And I mean, they still haven't even done anything with the multiplayer. Maybe, yeah. is, have they confirmed anything about multiplayer in Saints Row 5? 5 or get out of hell? Get out of Wait, what's the difference? Get Out of Hell is kind of like an extension, but it's still its own game. Saints Row 5, if they do make one, is going to probably be... whatever. It's just going to be a new game. So, no, they haven't even announced or talked about Saints Row 5. Now they're working on this new game, but no, they haven't said really anything about the multiplayer. I'm sure it'll still be co-op. You can go around... I think Saints Row 5 is going to be great, hopefully. But if you see... Um, if you look up the Saints Row... Um, and you look up the gameplay, I would watch it, it's about 11 minutes long, and it shows off some of the features, but it really, oh, you can fly, but I mean, I guess that's... That's decent. Yeah, but... Okay, anyways, All right, so, yeah. moving on. Um, <coughs> what? going on to the games that haven't actually had an announced release date. Oh, by the way, Minecraft for Xbox One and PS4 came out like two weeks ago, or like, like one week ago. Even it's though Microsoft is gonna buy Minecraft oh, for Oh yeah, they, 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 they did, that's, yeah, they did. So they're gonna discontinue it on PS3, even though it came on like they are. No, probably not. Oh. Oh, oh, oh I see. You want Xbox to be special? Yeah, Xbox should yeah. be special. They were special we until like Mojang's like, oh, we're gonna put it on like seven other systems. You know, the use. My good. Okay. All right. So now we're getting into some games that have not been announced like they've been announced but the release date hasn't been set so first we're gonna start off with crackdown for xbox one it is i mean trailer the trailer didn't show any actual gameplay you can expect it's probably going to be around the same thing but like, you know crackdown I mean. I mean crackdown is one of those games that everyone even though the second one the second one sucked um but it's one of those games like what is that <laughs> sorry <laughs> it's one of those games that everyone knows, everyone's played, and everyone's like, oh, I love Crackdown. But, I mean, like, it's also one of those games that tends to be a one-hit wonder. Yeah, okay, please stop. Sorry, um, I'm... So, next we've got... Okay, okay, um... Oh, man, we've got... Crap. Okay, we've got Rise of the Tomb Raider, which is the another game in the new Tomb Raider series that started in 2013. And we, besides all the cinematic trailer we saw, it's, I mean, not much to say. It looks like it'll be cool. Um, yeah, okay. And now we get to the meat, you know, the grind. Um. Halo 5 Guardians. Halo 5 Guardians, November 2015, probably. Yeah. And so, uh, we're glad they delayed it. They need time to make a good game, and we're okay with it. That's what Assassin's Creed Unity was all about. They're like, we want to make it good, and, um, I mean... I think just... Assassin's Creed is one of those brands that's only in it for... They're not in it for the money, they're in it for the gamers. Yeah. So, I, I'd, I'd say, Halo kind of veered towards bad in Halo 4, but I think Halo 5, along with the comics coming out, makes it kind of redeem themselves. Yeah, 343 but... is a great company. Along with some other games that we're not like tied to that much, but they've been like getting a lot of, um, like just uh, notice. There's a uh, Far Cry 4. Oh yeah. Um, there's a uh, which I I don't know. That GTA one, 6. Yes, Jesus. Kidding. That'll come out in five years, like the last one. <laughs> um, but I mean, yeah. There's just if you have any questions about any games that are coming out, or you want to talk to us about how we're hating on, you know, Saints Row. Uh, the next game, so, but uh, yeah, I mean, the ones were probably on this list that we went off. I'm thinking I'm probably gonna get the American Saga or the America's coll Saga Collection. Okay, I'll get that most likely too because um, Master Chief Collection. We're both gonna get Unity. Both gonna get uh, Rogue. Probably. Me. Yeah, I may. That the last that's game with the other one, Saints Row. That's a tough one. I don't. We may, but we may like get it, you know, to hate on it because it's only twenty dollars. It's not like a full price game. Yeah, it. I th and um, another thing is, I just thought about this the other day. Do you know how Josh we were talking about how Minecraft should have achievement, more achievements now that they've got. No. Oh, the, yeah. The uh, all that stuff. 
I was thinking about it, and it's an arcade game, so it can only have 400 gamer score. <laughs> they can't add achievements. It's grown so much from an arcade game, though. Yeah, it's not an arcade game. It's like, <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a free roam. Yeah. Oh, oh, Elder Scrolls Online for Xbox One. When did December that come out? Fourteen. I thought that already came out. Not for Xbox One. It came out for PC. Oh. Um. But I mean, there's a. I mean, yes. Yeah, uh, Saints. Uh, yeah, Saints Row. You can't. Yeah. We hate you, Saints Row. I'm kidding. Okay. Anyways, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Um. Uh, if you comment to tell us to do any more videos like this, if you like this video, then. And if you want us Light to do it any up. other video, like it up. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. I can be a rapist. Oh, wait. <laughs> okay. Anyways, thank you for watching. Bye bye.